Okay, you've already done the setup to get started. So what we're going to do is uh, you've opened up UiPath. Make sure once again, you're at Studio X. If not, just review your um, pre-project instructions. We're going to go ahead and open up blank task. I'm going to call this invoice uh, confirmation. Um, confirmation list. That'll be fine. And click OK or create. And that's going to give us a blank screen here in a moment. Off to the left, we see all of our resources that we can use. We can see things to do on the web. We can get data off the web, Excel, Word, Mail. We're going to do use Excel, uh, some file functions, Mail, and Word. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing we want to do is open up our Excel file. So let's drag and drop use Excel file. And what we're going to do is navigate to the location where you save the file. And there's mine in a folder called RPA case. Uh, we don't need to save, save changes or create if it doesn't exist. All right, so what we want to do is now start a list and of, or for each row, we want to do several activities. So I am clicked on Excel and found for each Excel row. So I'm going to drag that in here. By the way, I'm going to change this reference as up here. I'm just going to say list of vendors. Okay. So for each current row, and we need to specify a range, and we call that list of vendors, we're going to just use sheet one. If this was a more complex worksheet, uh, we probably would want to have saved range neighbor, names. So we're going to select has headers. Okay, so everything we do is going to be within, from here on out, is going to be within this for each Excel row. So we need to keep everything in there. The first thing we want to do is copy a file. What we want to do is copy that Word document template into the working folder, because then we're going to make changes in the working folder, save it as a PDF, and send it out. And then when we start our next row, we want to copy a blank one or the template again to start over. So our changes basically don't get saved. All right, so let's go ahead and say copy file. We're going to select with copying uh, that template. So once again, we are going to go to the RPA case. And here's the template. Ignore that letter. That was just something I was when I was playing. All right, we're going to copy that, and now we're going to copy it to, and this time we can only select a folder, and I'm going to find where my folder is. And we're going to select working folder. So it's going to make a copy of that template into the working folder, and we do want to say overwrite. Okay. So we still want to keep within that box. What we want to do is now say we want to use a Word file. So I'm going to open, click on Word over here, and bring this use Word file. And we're going to drop it right there. Make sure you're still within this for each Excel row. All right, so now we're going to go ahead. We want to open the file that's in the working folder. So I've selected working folder. It is not there yet, but it will be created. So we're just going to call it confirmation template. Make sure you pop, name it exactly what you did before and open. And we want to say create if it doesn't exist. Okay. So now the next few things we want to do are with to that word document. So we want to keep them within this box. So the first thing we're going to do is replace text in document. All right, so what we want to search for is in list of vendors, and we're going to select cell A1. So this is where it says supplier name. Remember when we looked at that Word document, it had supplier name in there. We're going to confirm, and then we're going to replace with, and we're going to say list of vendors. Oh, no, nope, current row, sorry. And in the current row, we're going to say supplier name. So it's going to 
replace whatever is in that first row of data, not the headers, um, in the column that's labeled supplier name. We're going to do this one more time right underneath that. Once again, make sure you're within this use word. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to list of vendors and we're going to indicate that in Excel. This time we want cell B1. So click in cell B1 and then click confirm. And what we want to do is once again, we want to replace it with the current row and amount. So it should look like this. Okay. So we have those two done. The next thing we want to do is save this document as a PDF. And I'm going to drag that right underneath the replace document. So here we're going to save this as a PDF. Once again, we're going to go to that working folder and we're going to call it confirmation letter PDF, but it's going to put a PDF on there. So go ahead and save, make sure it did put the PDF on there. So it is going to uh, save that. And now we're going to replace existing. Okay. If you do not have Outlook or unable to set up Outlook, you are actually going to stop here and you will do a screenshot of your uh, process um, here to turn in. But if you absolutely can, I'd love for you to try to go to Outlook. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to record one more just to break it up into a couple pieces on how to continue with Outlook.